I've just gone off trail to look at the viewpoint and oh my god, it's so beautiful. I've just had my first views of Glen Affric and I think I'm in for a real treat. Fanta fruit twist. This is the only thing that fits with the Sawyer squeeze, the mini Sawyer. So I made it to the Loch Affric car park at around 8 o'clock and now I'm just sort of taking in the view you can see behind me uh, that's towards where I'll be heading up tomorrow and I'm gonna get make some dinner but probably stay in the tent because the midges are already out I think my main, cha main challenge on this trip will be not to eat all my food tonight <laughs> because I'm carrying my food for five days but well it's difficult to resist Morning, I'm just about to go on my way for day two. Um, I had a fairly good night of sleep. I was on a slope though, so I kept slipping to the left. Um, but I tested my Thermarest Neo Air and it's so good. And I also removed my first tick. And also this morning I've been dealing with a lot of midges. The landscapes around here are insane. And there's nothing like kilometers away. This is idyllic. So I found water finally because since I left yesterday afternoon I haven't found any water so I had to dry camp. I can't believe I'm almost done with this second section. I haven't listened to any music or podcasts because the scenery is just enough to kind of inspire me and keep me happy. So no need for entertainment. And also I haven't had any internet or phone network since I left. youth hostel four hours it took me for the 13 kilometers and oh so happy I'm gonna need a bit of rest because I've been feeling a wee bit slow and tired and headachy and it's because that's what happens once a month so yeah that's that's a relief to see it now It is about half eight and I'm here in the dorm. I've been talking to a few people and uh, some of them have done the three Monroes I'm planning on doing tomorrow. And apparently there is one bit uh, that is a little bit hairy, as they say, uh, where if you go straight, um, you die. <laughs> There's a drop of about a thousand feet. So I'm gonna be relying on my navigation skills. Uh, I'm gonna try it. If I don't feel safe, then I'll just, um, I will, I will go back. So I just spoke to another hiker who's done it as well today and he said I'll be absolutely fine. So I'm gonna choose to believe him. I'm gonna do exactly the way they, that they did in the Kerrgorms, where I chose to believe the person who encouraged me and I'm just gonna go for it.